Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco and this is a JavaScript video. So today I want to talk with you about uh, Jest and uh, snapshot testing. Snapshot testing is really interesting concept that is popular in front-end development. And um, if, you are, if you, your company have UX and you have like design system, um, snapshot testing is a cool technique to test this uh, components that your design system will provide because you're going to have um, a specific font, a specific pixels, uh, you know, uh, orientation, border, uh, fonts, uh, tones, series of lots of things that matters for the brand and as um, as you have a consistent design across your applications, right? So if you're using React, for instance, uh, Jest is really a good choice uh, for you. So you could definitely go uh, unit testing, um, but definitely that will be much more typing and, um, and and sometimes either you're not doing or you're not updating your tests. So you can think about um, kind of like a, a contract, right? And uh, Jest has so amazing tooling to help you to do that. So. Let's take a look here, right? So I have, have uh, installed my Jest CLI. So if I type Jest, I basically running all my tests, right? And I have two tests here and you can see uh, they are passing. So let's take a look at code on my VS code, all right? So here's my Babel config JS. So it's my presets for uh, React, all right? And uh, let's take a look at my package JSON, right? So um, here, as you can see here, I have a Babel Jest. I have Jest, uh, I have React as well. That's the latest versions for now. Um, and one important thing here in my scripts, if I type Jest, right, uh, I can run uh, uh, npm run uh, test and then we'll call uh, Jest, right? Um, now I have a simple dummy JavaScript function here called sun, where I receive two numbers and I'm summed in and I'm exporting this uh, function uh, as well, right? Um, now, uh, let's take a look to the tests, right? So here I have what we call example-based testing. So you can do that with Jest. It's kind of a classical unit testing. So I'm requiring uh, the function and then say, okay, let's add one and two. So it should be three, it's sort of like BDD style. And then I'm doing an expect, which, you know, is like in Java, you will do a cert. And then I'm saying, okay, I'm sum one and two, and then should be three. All right, and uh, as you can see, I have some uh, interesting uh, tooling uh, plugins for VS Code. As you can see, I have a green check here is a neat uh, feature. And now uh, let's take a look what is the snapshot testing. But before, let's take a look uh, on a component in React. So as you can see here, importing React, we have a uh, status which could be hovered or normal. Um, and here, let me make this uh, a bit um, b uh, bigger, sorry. Um, let me go here. Okay, yeah, much better. So there's this class uh, extends React component um, in my constructor. I'm binding to a mouse enter event and mouse leave event. Um, I'm saying my uh, default state is normal, right? And then uh, on mouse enter, I change the status to hovered. On mouse leave, I go back to uh, normal. And then I'm handling here my HTML. Um, and uh, hyperlink, uh, um, uh, um, hyperlink in HTML, right? So I'm saying the class uh, state, um, and uh, here I'm registering my events, right? And uh, that's that's it. That's pretty much my uh, component. Then we can do the snapshotting here, right? That I have I call the snapshot uh, link uh, just uh, test, right? Actually, there's no word just on the test, it's just snapshot link test. Um, you don't need to name this way. A good pattern might be link.test.js, but anyway. So here, basically, as you can see, um, importing React, I'm importing my link component and also um, React test handler, uh, the handler here. And then, basically, I call the handler and I create a link uh, for Facebook, for instance and I create this as a JSON, right? And then I expect this to match the snapshot. So first time you run Jest, it will create a snapshot. 
and then all the um, subsequent runs will be testing this snapshot all right so um, if I go right here basically and I do um, run just right you can see it just works right because there is a snapshot already right and if I open the file system you're gonna see there's snapshots and then there's a snap file right uh, we can take a look at this on VS code as well and here is then the snapshot of the component right so um, let's say um, I want to change here in as uh, the URL let's say is now facebook.br that's supposed to be uh, the link as you can see right away uh, my test fail right in VS code and as you can see the snapshot it, it didn't match all right and I get diff saying well there's a problem here right if I run um, onto the console and I just type uh, just again all right um you're gonna see i have a very cool uh visualization here right that i say that my test fail handles uh, correctly and then um there is one problem exactly like here as you can see on the line right it's really good all right and uh, but let's say no um the snapshots are wrong right now combr is correct or my test is wrong well uh, or my code is wrong right well if my code's wrong uh, i can go here and just fix my code all right and as i save it and as i do just again you guys can see that start working again right because um you know i just fix my i just fix my uh test right um however um let's uh, break it again all right so let's go uh, and do br again and then let's run uh, just and then you're gonna see it, it breaks again, right? But let's say now BR should be the default. Well, th that's the cool thing about Jest, right? There's uh, this minus U um, parameter you can pass, and then he just updates the snapshot for you. So right now, before I do this, right? If we go back to the um, snapshot, you can see that uh, facebook.com, right? Now, if I run with minus U, you can see that pass it, right? And if I took a look, on the snapshot, you're gonna see that's uh, combr now, right? And now, um, if for some reason I go here and I remove the br, right? Um, and then I can run here with you again. Then I can make Kong being the default again, right? So you can see it's really useful. The tooling is uh, really good, right? Of course, um, you need judgment. You need to. Uh, be careful all right but um if, if you think about the whole amount of time that you can save doing assertions and how much this is uh productive uh this is definitely um the right to win awesome tool all right for um when when you have a design system and you want to test the design system you are using react so that that's what i got for today i hope you guys uh like it see you next time uh cheers